Hey, this is Joe with Sound Professionals. This video, we're gonna go over the setup and the wire assembly for the One Computer Zoom Kit. So these are the items you're gonna receive in your kit. First off, you're gonna get the Persona Studio 24C. That's an audio interface. There's some things inside we'll look at. You're gonna get the Boya Phantom Power Adapter. You're gonna get a one foot, eighth inch extension cable, SPSC 9-12. You're gonna get an eighth inch to quarter inch headphone adapter. And you're gonna get a SP Phone Mini 3-72. That's a single eighth inch male plug to two quarter inch male plugs. You're also gonna get some kind of listening device. In this case, we have a headset. This is the 185VM from Andrea. This headset has both headphone and microphone. It's got two plugs on the end. Green is headphone, pink is microphone. It's got a volume control and a mute switch on the wire here. Wider side is loud, skinnier side is quiet. Switch on is mic is active, mute is mic is muted. Let's open up the Personas box here. Inside you're gonna find two USB cables. Open those up. These USB cables are almost the same except for one has the USB-A plug like so, and one has two USB-C plugs. So one cable is USB-C to USB-C, the other cable is USB-A to USB-C. So if your computer has USB-A jacks, which is the wider rectangular USB jack, then that's the cable you wanna use. If your computer has USB-C jacks, then you wanna use the USB-C to USB-C cable. This box also comes with rubber feet. You can stick those on if you want. Open up the Personas box here. This label on top, you can pull that off. If you have a little bit of adhesive left from the label, you can just rub that with your finger, it'll come right off. Little protective cover on the screen here, you can pull that off. All right, so we can assemble some wires first. We're gonna wait to plug this into USB to the computer because we have to load some software on the computer, but we can assemble wires. So first off, we're gonna take our Phantom power adapter, it's the Boya 35C XLR Pro. Take that out of the bag. This piece is gonna plug right into the front of the Personas. You'll note there's sort of a triangular formation of three holes there, and there's three pins on the inside. You're gonna line those up together. You wanna push it in and make sure it seats fully. The plug goes in pretty much to the shoulder on this piece, so about half an inch, maybe a little more. Like so, should seat fully like that. Then you're gonna take your foot long eighth inch extension cable and your eighth inch to quarter inch headphone adapter. You're gonna take that eighth inch to quarter inch headphone adapter, you're gonna put it onto the end of the foot long extension cable, like so, make sure it seats fully in there. For example, that is not fully seated, that is. You're gonna take the gold piece here, the end, you're gonna go into the back of the Personas, into the phones jack, the headphone symbol there. Again, make sure to insert it fully. Then you're gonna take your Phone Mini 372. You can take off the Velcro tie. Like we said on one end here, this cable has two quarter inch jacks. On the other end, it has a single eighth inch jack. These two quarter inch jacks are gonna plug into the back of the Personas here into the main out jacks. Doesn't matter which way you do it, but one's gonna go on one side, one's gonna go on the other, make sure to insert those fully. Doesn't matter if red is on the right and black is on the left or vice versa, it doesn't matter. Then you're gonna take this eighth inch plug and that's gonna go off to your backup recording device. You don't have to hook up these backup cables, but it's a good idea because it'll give you a secondary recording. So you're gonna take this and you're gonna plug it into your digital recorder or writer mic input, whatever you wanna use for backup. Now we can hook up the headset. So the headset, again, has two plugs, green and pink. Green is the headphone, pink is the microphone. So this pink plug is gonna go right into the end of the boy adapter here. Again, make sure to push it in and seat it fully into the end. The green plug is going to attach to that extension like that, make sure it snaps into place. Double check all your connections are fully seated in the front and the back. On the front of the Personas here, we're gonna adjust our knobs. The one knob is the volume for the first channel, the mic input. We're gonna turn that up all the way, all the way to the right clockwise. 
Second channel is not in use, so we're going to keep that down. Mixer knob, we're going to set that to 3 o'clock. That means you're going to hear a little bit of your voice in your head, but it's going to be mostly the people in your remote conference, Zoom, meetings, or Teams, whatever it is, WebEx. The main knob, that's the audio coming out of the backup cables going to your backup device. If you're not using that cable, you can leave the main knob all the way counterclockwise. If you are doing a backup recording, you can turn that to 12 o'clock. The bottom right knob is the headphone volume knob. So we're going to turn that all the way up clockwise out to max. This is your headphone volume. So you can either use this knob or if your headset has a volume control on it, you can use that volume as well to adjust your listening volume. All this adjusts the listening volume. doesn't affect the recording at all. And then this button here, this 40 AV button, you're going to want to push that in so it's in its inserted position. So right now it's inserted. That's out. We want it in. And you'll see when the device is powered up, it'll light up blue. All right, and so you're going to take your correct USB cable. Now we're not going to plug this into the computer yet, but we are going to plug in one side of it. Take the USB cable, plug in one end to the USB-C jack on the back of the personas here. USB-C can go in either way. So just insert that cable. And now before we plug in the USB cable to the computer, we're going to load some software on our computer. Okay, so before we plug in the Personas box from the One Computer Zoom kit, we need to get some software for that box. That it's free and we can get it from Personas. Easiest way, I think, to find it, just open a web browser, whatever web browser you have, and just type in Studio 24C. That's the model number for that Personas interface. One of the listings here will be from Personas.com. That's the one you want. Don't click on any of the other listings for like Sweetwood or Amazon. You just want the, the one from Personas.com. They're the manufacturer of the box, so click that. It'll take you this page, Studio 24C. Come down here to where, it's, where you see Downloads. Click Downloads. You want to connect, get the universal control here download for whatever your operating system is. So I have Windows 10, 64-bit if you have Windows 11, then that should pop up here, Windows 11. Just make sure it matches what your operating system is. I'm gonna take the one that matches mine, hit Download. That's gonna start downloading universal control. That's the software we need. The download should appear here at the bottom of your browser. If it does not, hit Control J, and that'll show you your uh, downloads. And then click the Personas download here to start the install. So once you click that install and say yes, that you want to allow changes to your computer, you'll see this install Windows start. So you can select your preferred language, hit OK, click Next, click Agree to the Terms. Destination folder looks good. It's going into the program files. That's fine. Hit Next. You can say yes to all this. It's just saying you want to install the different components for the drivers, for the Personas box and other pieces of the Personas software. That's fine. Hit install. It's going to start the install process for the Personas Studio 24C box for the Zoom kit. You're going to let that finish up. So once the install is complete, you can hit finish here to close the box. Get rid of the browser. Don't need that. The install should put this universal control shortcut on your desktop. You can double click that. It's going to open this universal control box. We don't have the Personas plugged in yet, but I'm going to go ahead and plug in the Personas now. So now when we plugged in the Personas box, the first thing that's usually going to pop here is a firmware update, which is fine. We're going to hit update firmware. While it's doing this, you want to make sure not to unplug the Personas box. Firmware only usually takes a couple seconds. Okay, the firmware is done updating. We can hit OK. So this is your standard screen for the universal control. It has a bunch of information about how the box is operating. We don't need to worry about most of this here. The only thing we want to pay attention to is the loopback. We're going to change that from off to mix 1-2. You want to make sure loopback is set to mix 1-2. And you want to check this regularly. And again, that's a shortcut here on the desktop for universal control. Double click. It'll open universal control. You'll see, as long as the Personas box is plugged in, you should see these controls. Make sure loopback is set to mix one, two. Second thing we want to check is the volume for the computer. You want to make sure that is set to 100%. This is Windows 10, so this is what it looks like for Windows 11. You'll hit the control and it'll have a, another slider. But either way, you want to make sure it's fully up to 100%. And then I'm going to open sound settings. And you want to see here, you want to see your choose your output device. You want that on main out 1-2, Studio 24C. That's the Personas box. Volume is at 100%. Input should be mic instrument line in 1-2, Studio 24C. Down here, you're going to see manage sound devices. You can click that. That's going to show you all the sound devices connected to your computer. You, yours may have different devices. These are just what's attached to mine. But you should have in common with me this main out 1-2 and the virtual 1-2 and mic instrument line in 1-2. 
The virtual one too here, we don't need this. So we're gonna left click on that and hit disable. So now that's gonna list here in a disabled category and input devices will show the mic instrument line in one two as the only option for a Studio 24C. In your CAT software, this mic instrument line in 1-2, that's what you want selected as the input device for your CAT software. Uh, default will also work because this is, the, this is going to be selected as the default, or you can specify this device specifically, mic instrument line in 1-2. I'm going to bring up a Zoom test meeting here so we can look at the Zoom devices. Here in the Zoom meeting, you can click the little arrow in the mute button. That'll show you your audio devices. As I said, you may see other devices in here. However, what you want selected is devices we'll have in common, which is the mic instrument line in 1-2. You want that selected under microphone. And for speaker, you want main out 1-2 Studio 24C. So these are the devices you want picked in Zoom. All right, so that completes the setup and assembly for the One Computer Zoom Kit from Sound Professionals. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us in tech support via text. The phone number is 609-491-2844. Any sales issues, you can give them a call. It's 1-800-213-3021 for sales. And if you want to make an appointment to set up, set up this kit over the phone, that is calendly.com slash soundpro. Links for all that is in the description. I'm Joe from Sound Professionals. Thanks for watching.